I'm in the Bronx in front of the apartment of Mamadou Diallo on a day of somber celebration. Wednesday, charges were officially dropped against Diallo in the beating death of his wife's would-be rapist that I covered back on May 30th. Now, Diallo beat career criminal Earl Nash to death with a tire iron when he encountered the mentally ill man after an attempted rape on Mamadou's wife. Mamadou initially faced manslaughter, then assault charges, and now thanks in large part to the urging of the victim's family family, actually, he is a free man. In a letter written by Nash's relatives and read to the court by the assistant district attorney, Jennifer Cruz, the family said they didn't want Mamadou Diallo behind bars. In part, they said, quote, we truly believe that both the Nash and the Diallo family have suffered a great deal of pain as a result of the attack, the Nash family wrote. While we cannot undo the damage that was done that evening, we hope to bring some closure, not only to our family, but to the Diallo family as well. As such, we wholeheartedly recommend dismissing all charges against Mamadou Diallo. Now, people in the neighborhood tend to agree that Diallo should be free. It's good that he's free because he did what he had to do. He defend his wife. His wife was going to get raped. And he defend, he had to do what he had to do to say, to defend his wife. Now, for Diallo, who was actually on the verge, Bill, of taking a plea deal that would have had him deported from this country, it's one thing to be able to live his life free, but is it complete? Diallo was a taxi driver here in NYC before his pending charges saw that his license was taken away. Now, following this latest development, we got a statement from the taxi and limousine uh, officials saying, quote, as soon as we see the disposition with proof that the charges have been dropped, he will be immediately reinstated. Just hearing about the, what the Nash family had to say about dismissing all the charges actually gave me chills. Yeah. It's 2016, we live in this litigious society where anything goes wrong. You want to sue and you want to send the other person straight to jail. I mean, just putting this to rest is just a great sign of uh, uh, that people can actually move on after incidents like this and not drag them out for 20 years. As far as I'm concerned, justice was served. He was a career criminal who was still on the streets, still bringing harm to other citizens. He had to be stopped. Thanks, Tara.